Hey guys, it's Michelle Lundy from Making It as a Middle School Teacher, and I'm back with another Tech Tip Tuesday for you. We're going to go ahead and continue looking at PowerPoint. Um, I haven't really sat down and figured out how many weeks we'll go on this, but um, I'm going to try to include as many little parts of PowerPoint that I can. So we started last week with looking at choosing a theme and even customizing the themes with different colors um, and fonts and some of the um, options for you to really make the theme be your own. So this week we're going to look at adding a table into PowerPoint. Okay, so um, we worked on this theme last week. We did change the colors a bit, but I went back with the same basic um, setup that comes automatically in PowerPoint. And remember, I am on a Mac, so your buttons may be in a different spot, but overall things should be named pretty similar and work in a similar way. All right, so once you've got your uh, main screen up, the title screen, then you're going to click right here on your home tab. You're going to click on new slide. And I'm just going to go ahead and start um, with this one. And we won't go through every one of them because some of them are repeats. It just has maybe two tables or two pictures. So I'm going to start here. And that's the one that I chose. And I went ahead and I just tried to think of something very generic that we could do for an example and put a title there of student jobs. Now, in the box here, it tells you to click to add text. So when you click on it, if you just immediately start typing, it's going to let you go with a text box. But it also has some other options here for adding in a table. This is adding a chart. Okay. Then when you get over here, this one is a smart art, and that is some... Um, things that are already preset and we'll try to look at those in one of the videos as well. There's some pretty neat um, like flow map type things. Um, so we'll look at those as well. You can insert a picture. Okay, on this one it's going to let you look through the clip art and browse there. And then this one is the film strip, so obviously that one's going to be inserting a movie. So we're going to start here with adding in a table. And for my student jobs, let's say um, I'm going to go with three columns and I'll just make about six rows just to give you an idea of what to do. So you do need to want to think ahead of you know how many rows and columns you need. You can adjust, however, after you get started. So if you need to add another column or take away, you can always do that. Now, up here at the top, under what comes up as the Table Layout tab, uh, it's sort of like the Themes tab from last week. You've got lots of options up here. And if you click on this little down arrow here, it's going to show you all of the options at one time because there's a lot of them. So here's a selection that's more light. These are more medium in color. There's some dark uh, heading. Um, sections and then here's what's considered dark alright so if you wanted to go with something where your text is going to be white that would be okay I wouldn't highly recommend that for something you're going to print out but if you wanted to just have this displayed on your screen in some way then that's um, you know an option that you can have I am going to um, go back to what we had I don't think it was the light one. I think it might have been this one. Okay, and again, you just play around with it and make it be what you want. You can still go in and change colors. You can change borders, the thickness of it, the style of it. So there's still a lot of um, flexibility there as well. So um, let's say I'm going to call this student, um, and this will be job, and this will be day. Okay, now I would like these to be formatted, and we're going to look a little bit more at formatting text specifically as well in one of the videos. But I'm just going to then go back uh, right up here and center text, and that's fine. I also would like them maybe to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to click on, uh, let's try maybe 24 font and see what that looks like. Okay. I'm satisfied with that. So then I would go in and start typing in. Maybe I have um, John and I have Sue and I have Mary and I have Steve. 
Okay, and since I have another one, we'll do one more. Uh, and we'll call that one, um, let's call that one Larry. Okay, now I could go ahead and fill in the jobs in the days, or I could leave them blank. Maybe if you were going to print this out and you're going to write in the job in the day that they're doing things or, or whatever. So you see you've got lots of options. I can also choose to highlight this column. Oops, sorry, let's go back. We can highlight this column and also make the names be um, centered. Okay, if I wanted to put them aligned on the right, I could also do that. Okay, uh, if you want to type in the jobs, again, you can do that. You can change font styles, font colors, sizes, whatever you want to do. If you want to make the whole thing be a little bigger, you're just going to click and drag there and, um, you know, play with it and get it to be the size that you want. Okay, so lots of options there, but adding a table is very, very simple. Just know how many columns and rows you want. Choose the style that you like. Do any customization that you would want to have for your particular table. And enter in whatever you need to enter. It's just that simple. Okay? So I appreciate you coming back by today. Um, I will post this up on the blog. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thanks, guys. Bye.